He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. The spirit that raised Christ from the dead will also raise us. Why do I celebrate resurrection? It's because God raised himself up from the dead. And if he's able to resurrect himself, then every dead in Christ shall rise. Are you here with me, somebody? What spirit is Paul referring to? Here we do not have the spirit of any particular personality of the triune God. The Father, Son, or the Holy Spirit. But simply and absolutely the spirit, he says. The same energy, if you want to remove spirit, that raised Christ from the dead is able to change the situation in my life. Amen. Are you here with me, somebody? Amen. And this spirit is not tied to a pastor or a religion. Come on, somebody. I want us to understand that pastor don't carry an antidote that the rest of believers carry. All of us have the same spirit of God in us. Come on, somebody. And the spirit that Paul is referring to here is that that spirit that made you come up and he can die, she can die, and shake to one side and shake to the other side. The spirit that raised Christ from the dead is that positive energy that tells you that what you are going through will not last forever. Amen. Am I talking to anybody here? Amen. Resurrection and daylight today gives me hope. Come on. A day like today, amen, amen. Yes. concretize my assurance yes. and let me know that weeping is only going to be for a while. Yes. But joy is coming in the morning. Yes. It refers to the essence of God. When, 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 when Paul talks about the same spirit that raised Christ from the, from the dead, he's talking about the essence. The ingredients that raised Christ. You and I need to understand that once we believe in God, we carry that essence, that ingredients that tells us that there is a life beyond this life. Amen. Are you here with me, somebody? Amen. For as Jesus stated, God is spirit in John 4 and verse 24. In Romans 8 and verse 9, the word spirit, of course, three times without definite article before it. In verse 10, amen, the contrast is between the body, the material element of the man, and the spirit body, the spiritual element. This contrast is carried out throughout the eighth chapter of Romans. You and I need to understand that this body can be destroyed, but our life, our legacy lives on. Am I talking to anybody in the house? Amen. We need to understand that we, as I opened out earlier, and I said you cry not because people makes you cry. It's a choice you make. Amen. The forces that kill some people, that may cause some to live. Not all of us die because of negative vibes. Not all of us give in because people have done us wrong. Come on, somebody. Some things that cause some people to kill themselves. Some of us go to worse than that. I mean, and all we do, we rise up and become positive because we know the God whom we serve. Am I talking to somebody here? And I want us to understand that if we believe in God, nothing will destroy us because God is more than able to keep that which we have committed unto him. The theme is that our present salvation is only spiritual. Our present salvation is only spiritual, while our future salvation will also include the redemption of our body. What am I saying is that this salvation that we have now is spiritual, but this salvation is going to produce a new body. That's why Paul said, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Am I talking to somebody here? The positiveness that I carry, amen, will cause me to rise and make life again. Am I talking to somebody here? Amen. I have known, and I was just talking to him last week, and I can share it with a friend of mine. Amen. He got married three times. And people that tell him, don't marry again, and he come to me and say, Pastor, what do you think? I said, my youth, look at another woman. No, for we buy a whole power card before we get a good one. Amen. Amen. 
you might not, you might not understand my terminology is that listen to me not because you didn't make it in Jamaica or Bahamas or Grenada means you make a can make life come on somebody it's just that you need to go somewhere else Jesus said to the disciples cast your net on the other side what am I trying to say is that brothers and sisters people might condemn you because you have been through I mean three or four bad marriages but what about those who have been through bad relationship? Is it not the same? Amen. Amen. Oh, sorry, you don't want to say that. In other words, what am I trying to say to you, even though I use marriage as an example? Is that because you have bad experience, which some people mean everybody are bad? But the energy that you carry will tell you that you gotta live again. Because Jesus' life did not end with death. On a day like today, the Bible says, up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph. Amen. In verse 23, while in the first seven chapter of Romans, the word spirit occurs only five times. In chapter 8, it occurs 20 times. The spirit, and I want to use another word for spirit, the vine that keep Jesus going, we must possess it. The problem I have with Christians, we are too negative. <laughs> we carry a negative energy. We carry a negative vibe. And if you follow some of them, as soon as you talk with them, you don't even want to go to church, much more talk to God. 